Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing another whole video. Outrageous. That's right, friends. Once again, I have returned to you with a haul. My second haul of the year. Although that's not that bad, considering it's April. You know, I've, 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 I've definitely, uh, <clears throat> I've definitely had more hauls by this time in the year before. But this is my first haul since I got Serge Luton's in January. So that is fun. Um, today's is a much more eclectic mix. They're not all part of the same brand. In fact, there's no repeats here at all. Um, there are three vintage perfumes. And there is one very, very modern perfume. In fact, its name is Modern. And we will start with that perfume. And that perfume is Musk Modern by Darren Allen. That's right, friends. I bought an indie niche perfume. Outrageous. Who would have thunk it? Not me. But uh, I had to go, I had to jump through some hoops for this. Um, had to do some stuff. Had to get Michael Harness to buy it for me and then ship it to us. So thank you very much, Michael. Um, you can go back and watch my Darren Allen sample series, which I enjoyed. Very relieved to see that they weren't shite. <clears throat> and they were, in fact, quite good. This was the one that took my fancy the most. It reminded me, it was more like a, it's like a, it's like a niche aquatic, it's like a niche aquatic Tommy Hill figure fragrance it's got that 90 summer vibe you know <clears throat> watermelon millisim imperial kind of vibe which i absolutely love to be honest with you it's like a grown-up not hill figure for men but you know like one of the other ones one of the more aquatic ones and it's absolutely beautiful it's a little bit fruity a little bit floral um, not very musky on me though. Ambergris type of thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I am extremely pleased to have it. So thank you, Michael, for shipping this to me. Okay. Next are three of the perfumes that I bought off the same person. They came from Italy, a guy I've bought from before. Uh, the same guy that Ramsey got his, uh, his big bottle of Queer de Russie off, vintage Queer de Russie cologne from like the 50s or something. Um, so these fragrances, a couple of them, are very, 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 very sought after. And one, the first even, if you will, was the last perfume made by perhaps the greatest perfumer who ever lived. And this is called Ocean Rain by Mario Valentino. But the perfumer is Edmund Rudnitska. This is a 50 mil splash. It is a cologne, a men's cologne, if you will. Haven't done any kind of smell on it yet. Um, I shall be doing first impressions at some point, but today I'm just doing a, a haul unboxing video. So I don't know when I'm going to be wearing this. I don't know anything about it. It was kind of a blind buy. Um, so I will have to see how that goes. Apparently it's very good though. Seems good. It's in good condition still. It hasn't gone off. So that's fun. Apparently lavender, rose, lime. Big fan of lime. Um, 
seawater, cyclamen, thyme, oak moss, leather. It smells nice. It's got that 90s, it's got that 90s lavender thing going on, you know. Um, seems like it's going to be a summer fragrance. Maybe even spring, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like Musk Moderns a, a, sp a spring and summer fragrance too. Okay, next. Next up, we have a mighty bottle. I should have taken this out of the box. I don't know if this is going to be dead wrapped up. Oh no, I've gotten away with it. Okay, next up, we have a mighty bottle. This is a 200 mil splash. In fact, I think. All three of the bottles that I've bought off this guy have been splashes. Um, but this is a little known fragrance called FH77 by Courages. This bottle is huge. That's it next to French Lover for comparison. That's 100 mil. This bottle is huge and it's got like sharp edges and round edges and... All sorts of stuff going on. I don't know where I'm going to have to put that. I'm going to have to decant it, clearly, you know. But um, this is another blind buy. I've never smelled this before. Um, I had seen that he had it um, on his website or his little list that he had, you know. Um, made, by, made by Alberto Marias. Your friend and mine, in 1977, one of his first fragrances. Apparently citruses, oak moss, pine needles, vetiver, Virginia cedar, geranium, musk, juniper. Bonkers. Again, I will do a mighty first impressions on this and these. And we will see what the crack is. But... I'm quite looking forward to this, actually. Um, very little information out there about it, but what a bottle that is. I've got Courage's Arm, which is made by Gerard Anthony, which is a fabulous fucking perfume. Um, and he is probably my favourite perfumer, so... Or he's up... I mean, he's made some of my favourite perfumes. You should check his resume out. He's probably the most... The most underrated perfumer out there. But from an underrated perfumer to a perfumer who has got exactly the rating that he should, I managed to source myself an outrageous bottle. Excuse me whilst I unbox it. An outrageous bottle, a little 50 mil splash of Tiffany for Men. Tiffany for Men Cologne is Jacques Polge when Chanel and Tiffany had this kind of embrace. Um, this is his version, I think, if I remember correctly, because I've had this before. Um, careful with that lid. Yeah, this is like a, it's like a it's like a forerunner to, oh, that's bloody good, that. It's a forerunner to Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum for Chanel, which is a beautiful fragrance. Lemon, lavender, bergamot, cardamom, sandalwood, nutmeg, rose, iris, carnation, oak moss, vanilla, incense, amber, just the kitchen sink, absolutely everything. And it's beautiful. And you can tell it was made by Jacques Polge. And it was 1989. I thought it was 87, but it's 89. The year before they released Ego East. Um, it's ambery. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit woody. Absolutely beautiful. But, um, yes. I got these for a really good price. I'm very happy to have them. They're very difficult to find. I hope you have enjoyed this video, my friends. And I hope I will see you all again soon. Bye.